going to um, get this tunnel sorted out so my first thing I need to do <coughs> is uh, I've got to glue this down so it's flat and then I've got to get this sorted out and then I'm going to use the plastic cloth to create uh, a mountain side there with a small reservoir or lake um, a little river running down perhaps and down to here and then I have this coming down so it's flat on there but I don't want it to stick to the table so I'll sort this bit out later um, but yeah I'm just going to cover it with plastic off for now and see how we get on with that <coughs> and then uh, I'll be hopefully I'll be able to move that out and move it in so I can get out the tracks there so I'll just switch to um, the area where I'm going to work out move that out and start doing that Back in a minute. Okay, so um, let's start covering this now. So, got my plaster cloth, dip it in the water, and basically start moulding it over. So, it should be interesting. I don't mind if there's any wrinkles or imperfections like that because that will all be part of the final mould if I can get it to stick in it that will create a bit of interest on the terrain make sure I get this bit done correctly because this is going to be a, <coughs> a ravine and a bit of a waterfall coming down there I think running down filling the old um, lake up so, Make sure I lift that off before it goes too dry, too damp. Better layer in different directions, I suppose. I'm not losing too much of the detail. So I'm not, I'm not bothered very smooth and quite happy for it to be a bit bumpy and rocky because that will provide me with uh, interesting detail when I come to paint it and landscape it which will make it look a bit better so up over the edge there onto the card and just bulge it up a little bit here and there and block it up like that until we get on and just go oh, I've just got a chance to so I settle on it I can go with a finger Rub it down, get rid of any bubbles, any imperfections like that. Looks like create different bits of terrain. So this will take a bit of time. No doubt I'll fast forward this with a bit of music, so uh, enjoy.
is I'm just using a, a small paintbrush just to help smooth the plaster into the various bits of holes there and just to get a nice smooth so basically I don't want it too smooth I just I just want the plaster to um, completely set with no holes in it um, which defeats the object really because I'm going to be putting holes in it later on for the trees and stuff but um, it just helps rather than using your finger you know I find this a lot more um, easier to use so right that's all right again I'll probably fast forward this you might see me putting a bit more on if I think I need a bit more character but uh, yeah enjoy patches of patch there patch there so a bit more on here and then I think I'll just lay it dry and see what it looks like uh, when it's hardened off and dry the beauty about this is that you can always add more on and create more interesting shapes as you go along folding it over tucking it etc and uh, using the brush stipple it down in place this has to be um, I want to say watertight but it's got to be secure because I'll be pouring resin in here to create the um, the lake reservoir so I just want um, I could bulk this up I suppose but just want to give it that depth Uh, they're not more realistic really very very satisfying hobby doing this um, I do, do enjoy it we shall see what we shall see I'll leave that for now and come back when it's a bit harder and um, do a bit of painting see if I can get it a bit more realistic than what it is now All right. so uh, as you can see I've uh, finished that and sprayed it um, not happy with it but it still do for, for the, the undercoat I think I'll repaint that uh, with a dark brown I'm hoping you can see there there's the channel for the the waterfall coming down i'm going to build these little islands up here so when the lake's in you've got a couple of little islands in there um what i've also done is added these pieces of card on the edge uh, and that's because uh, it just helps to hide that um gap as i bring it over place it in you can see it just, it just helps to level it up and hide the gap up in the corners there um, so my next thing now that I need to do is to um, repaint that. I've already sprayed the inside looking like a rock tunnel there uh, and that's just so that when I look through there it's a bit more realistic 
that's all as you look through um, when this is on top obviously there's no light going in there I have no intention of lighting it up but when you look through now it's a little bit more realistic with the rocks so yeah so uh, I've also as you can see I've laid the the track and I've glued it down so I know where I am I've got some bits of um, polystyrene at the back there which I need to glue down and then the next bit then is to uh, cover this area uh, in two separate halves uh, and paint it up and then uh, I can get on with it then um, I've got a lot of stuff coming apart the Christmas list so yeah grab on so <clears throat> that's as far as I am with the tunnel it's more or less complete um, the actual structure is just a case of uh, finishing off I've got some bits of polystyrene and glue gun uh, and some paints and uh, they'll make up I'll make up some rocks and boulders and things like that and decorate that so hopefully uh, in the next video um, I'm going to be looking at progressing the, the coal mine further on um, and then I'll come back to this later I think or I might do this one I don't know yet but uh, there's plenty for me to do um, a bit like Charlie said from Chadwick uh, model railway a uh, bit of a butterfly in that I flip from one job to another because really I should be uh, putting down um, ballast on these bits which are no fixed uh, and aren't, aren't going to change and I should be putting some uh, grass and bits and pieces down there but you know it um, depends what I feel like when I come in the, in the shed uh, I, I would like to sort of get to a point where um, I've got the third rail finished with, the coal mine rail finished with. Um, and I couldn't, you know, I've got the points to fit in yet. Uh, I've placed them in, in situ. See there, but I haven't actually wired them in, so perhaps I should do that. It depends, but that's where I've got as far as the tunnel so far. Um, tomorrow I probably will paint it um, to make it look a bit more like that. And then I, later on I can put the grass on when I get the grass applicator. But that's it for now. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you another time. Delcom Bauer.